That's right. The whole design of this process was that we we thought about it as how can we make this this migration from Byron to Shelley be as smooth as poss as we possibly can. And you might imagine that you know there would be one hard fork between Byron and Shelley, but we realized that the smoothest way to do it actually involved two hard forks, and and that's where the Ouroboros BFT comes in, which perhaps I can explain a little later. Yeah, and we also just want to caution. So like in many with many uh. uh blockchain platforms when you say hard fork that's a very yeah, that's a scary term. thing yeah it's very but this scary, is a, big it's drama technically a hard fork that's right technically yeah. a hard fork but we designed it to be as smooth as we possibly can uh, and that that was yeah that was the whole point of of the approach we've taken here so we've essentially kind of built into the platform the ability to have graceful graceful forks which are technically hard forks but there's not all of the drama and community issues and and uh, and sort of uh, a forking risk that you would see elsewhere it's just something we, we can pull the trigger when we choose to, and it should be graceful. Okay, so on this diagram that I'm looking at, where are these forks occurring? So on the left-hand side, it says 1.5 release, and there's a red yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah, so you see the, the, the vertical dotted lines there. So and, and at the bottom, the labels BFT hard fork and later the Shelley hard fork. So those are these two, uh, the hard fork points. And in between, we have you know different releases on different, uh, on the Byron and, and on Shelley. Um, and so the the important point to note is that you know where we are right now is just just prior to the 1.5 release um, on still with with uh, Cardano uh, Byron, uh, and then the 1.5 release is the release that enables the BFT hard fork. So that's the version of uh, of Cardano that understands how to how to cross that hard fork transition, and that's why everyone needs to upgrade to that, you know, between the point at which it's released and the point at which we actually do the hard fork. That is the critical time window, but we're trying to make that time window be, you know, give people uh, a reasonable amount of time to to do that. Um, and then after that, yes, then we're in this transitional phase uh, where we are able to um, start to use the uh, the Cardano Shelley uh, code and do a graceful uh, migration between the two. And then later, we do the second hard fork where we change the rules again, and then we're properly into the Shelley era. Exactly. So if you're an exchange and you haven't uh, upgraded yet and you're wondering what to do, um, uh, uh, please contact us and we'll help you through it. We have Neville Freeman uh, uh, who's helping exchanges through this process. And so we're happy to guide you through it if it's if it's not obvious to you.